I'm Peter, and uh, behind me we have uh, the destroyer Smoland. We will very soon turn it into the Monitor Celestra, a uh, monitor ship in uh, the Battlestar Galactica universe, uh, who has been sailing uh, in the fleet of Battlestar Galactica. We will currently leave Ragnar Station and things will probably go very bad. This is a LARP, and so we will enact uh, this. We will dive into the Battlestar Galactica universe and it will hopefully be crazy. We will play in four episodes and uh, yeah, behind me people are preparing for the first workshops and uh, uh, I have a good, really good feeling so far. I'm uh, Jan Åke, I'm from Sweden and I'm going to play a hardware engineer, a hardware engineer from the Battlestar Galactica uh, and I'm really psyched, this is going to be so cool, so say we all. My name is Oscar. I will play one of the Latha brothers, uh, a civilian who has escaped um, the horrible accidents and fled into space. Uh, I'm very excited about this, uh, a little bit confused, trying to read up on uh, 12 colonies and just uh, talking to Hanne here about giving um, not too much attention to those uh, details. And uh, hope that we will make jumps every 33 minutes, as I saw in uh, one of the pilot episodes of Battlestar Galactica. I thought it sounded re really cool to jump into hyperspace every 33 minutes. I think this will be great. Hello, uh, my name is Sabina Sonning and I come from Sweden. And I'm gonna play Ilana Herzog, one of the gritty uh, and spiritual uh, sublight engineers down in the worst possible space, the cram space. Uh, I'm super excited to be here. I'm a BSG uh, nerd uh, and this is my dream come true and I'm enjoying it uh, fully already before we even started. <laughs> uh, game is about to start. This is Juha uh, at Live Support with Giovanna Illes. Illes from Live Support. Or die. Or Carolina. <laughs> or die. Carolina, <laughs> how do you feel right now? Um, I'm quite tired actually um, and I, I really don't know what to expect. I kind of expect the first episode to be just really messy because people don't know what they're doing and they don't know what they're playing. Um, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, and uh, we'll probably have a nice report after, after uh, this episode, maybe with that guy over there. Because he, he gets here all the way from Denmark. Over and out. Okay, live support reporting in. Uh, so this was episode one, uh, and I'm standing here too, next to Caroline. Illes, what Illes. do you think? Um, chaotic, uh, but fun, surprisingly fun. I thought it was going to be a lot more like trying to figure out how stuff works. Well, we were doing that, but it was fun while we were doing it, I think. Yeah, which is uh, kind of slow in the beginning, which was really good. And then uh, extremely hectic. How did it went? You had a little plan to screw things up in the end there, but uh, I decided not to screw things up yeah, in the end. I thought nice, that was I best. Yeah. No sense in ruining the wrong jump. Uh, my name is Anders. Uh, I play Nico Athenai, a fugitive on the ship Monster Sinestra. Act one was about depression, loss, and a lot, a lot, a lot of crying. That was it. <laughs> My name is Stefan. I play one of the scientists named Kaval uh, on, the, on the Celesta. Uh, my episode one has been a fight for power, not political but electrical. The uh, Galactica crew has been stealing it from us all day long and we've been able to do nothing about it and we have cried and cried to everybody and nobody has listened. I'm Frida and I'm playing Petra Kirali. Uh, politician from Tauron. Um, episode one was hectic and uh, very clan related and it was all about the politics and I loved it. It was awesome. My name is Jonas and I am playing one of the phantom players in Monitor Celestra. Right now we are going to play in episode two and continue messing with people's head and starting to take more and more physical form, I guess. It will be awesome.
This is uh, Juha from a room on, uh, on deck four. Uh, episode two ended with. Uh, uh, and episode two was about workers' rights, mainly for me as the end engineers who were. Uh, uh, we did a strike and it went out really well. Uh, but in the end, um, martial law was declared and uh, the Galactic crew once again took over the ship which was under sort of democratic rule for a while. Uh, episode 3 seems to be turning it up a notch. We'll start with many standoffs, so we'll see who gets out alive on the other side. So episode 3 just ended. Yeah. Ansel, how was it? It was good, yeah. Du har skrivit Wenzel och Love. Love, I ask Love. Ja, ah. yeah, it was good. I got to uh, cut the sublight words into the calf of the major galactic officer. I got to take a silent down into the reactor room. I did a lot of fracking good things. I it, was a, it was a fracking good episode. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was good always. Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm from Denmark. I'm playing uh, Helen Hadama from the Halata. It's the gangster mob. And this is the fourth episode, and it's going to be awesome because we're going to die and kill and have fun. So, yay! This is Linus, I'm playing H Bureau Operations, and I'm here in the Com Central with Yua, and we're gonna start the fourth uh, part of the Monitor Celestra, and it's gonna start with chaos. We have to send messages to the Sarpedon so we don't get torpedoed, we have to send over the Burgess board, or the, it's gonna start a bloody war. And we're gonna have to solve it immediately when the LARP starts. Me and you are probably gonna have a heart to heart about what the frack we should do. So it's gonna be it's gonna be wonderful and probably very bloody all over the ship. I'm Peter again, and the, the episode four, the game just ended, and I'm standing here with Kaisa. Kaisa, what do you think? I think it was great. It was a really dramatic ending for me. <laughs> uh, Cylon that I fell in love with just get thrown out the airlock, and uh, I was it the one I shot? Yeah, it was the one you yeah, shot. Yeah, I shot a Cylon in the bridge. <laughs> you shot my lover. <laughs> yeah, blood yeah, for blood, okay. the Tyrone way. And I tried to stop. Was them. it you who was pregnant? Yeah, no, I, I was not pregnant. Okay. So whatever, we're going to talk to some more people, but uh, for us at least, I think the episode 4 was fracking awesome. My name is anna Karin Linder and I'm one of the organizers and one of the GMs on uh, the monitor Celesta. Game 3 have just ended and we are standing here uh, in the uh, with the after talk behind me uh, and with a lot of uh, happy but tired participants. Uh, we have had a frack load of work and a frack load of fun and are very tired but happy and there is so many people who have contributed contributed to this LARP and we cannot thank them enough. All the players, all the helpers, all the organizers have been awesome. So the only thing remaining now is the after, par after party. <laughs> My name is Kalle. I play the steward aboard the Monitor Celeste. I'm from Sweden as well, as many are. And it was very hectic, uh, very intense, very immersion life. It was very, very, very big. My name is Jonathan, and I play the cadet Domino Farkas in the FTL Drive uh, aboard the ship. And we took care, every time we had to jump faster than light, we had to take care of the emergency protocols, and we had a lot of pretense game down in the um, down in the Tilium reactor uh, charging up the engines and stuff like that and we had an epic time playing the monitor Celestra. My name is Peter Edgar and I played the Cylon on board the monitor Celestra and the experience was fantastic until I got shot by the beautiful young man holding the camera. Fracking awesome. I'm Martin Eriksson, I'm one of the organizers of the monitor Celestra. This has easily been the most personally intense game of, of the three runs of the Monitor Celestra. 
the moral implications of uh, the ship turning against itself, uh, the itself, in witch hunts and civil war, is a it's strong analogy to historical massacres and ethnic cleansings. It's truly an ending and a game in the spirit of Battlestar Galactica, a, a, a social uh, allegory and a fantastic game from the side of the organizers. We are fantastically happy and uh, seeing, uh, seeing the, the tension in the ship, being able to cut it with a knife has been a true pleasure. So from uh, all of us to all of you, so say we all.